I'm Robert Ames. I'm, I'm a conductor. I'm also a violist, and I work mainly in London, but get to travel, get to travel a lot, luckily. And uh, the main work that I do is for an orchestra called the London Contemporary Orchestra. We do quite a lot of uh, quite a broad a broad range of stuff. I set it up with my mate uh, Hugh Brunt, who is co-artist and director. I set it back up with him. It's 2008 now, so we're coming up to our. 10th anniversary and we do everything from really left field contemporary classical music we do lots of collaborations with people from different musical spheres so we collaborate with electronic artists and um, collaborate with rock artists folk musicians and um, yeah we're just trying to find find ways to bring people um, to enjoy the live music that we really love I know everybody really well because I've been working with them for a long period and a lot of the musicians are friends of mine and Hughes through, through music college and we've kind of grown up together and grown up loving this kind of music and a lot of the musicians in LCO, they do, they're freelance musicians um, so they're, they're doing their own thing, they're performing, they're curating their own concerts, they're improvising, they're composing so it's a really interesting um, bunch to work with. My role as a conductor in O. Well, O is Shiva Fischerecki's masterpiece of, um, and it's a monster. It's a monster piece for four for four spatialized orchestras. And um, I guess well, what is my role as a conductor? It's, it's quite a traditional role as a conductor, really. And it's just simply the, the piece. The piece is really rhythmic, and there are strands of rhythmic material that bounce around all four orchestras and when that's really tight and locked in you get this you, you get this amazing amazing music and if it's slightly out and slightly wonky it sounds completely wrong so I guess my role is to make sure it doesn't sound completely wrong <laughs> um, there's there's loads of interesting complications that arise there there's a question of balance because people are further away and closer to the audience so we spend lots of time on that and it's the rhythmic difficulties so we've got four percussionists so there's a percussion player in each orchestra and they're at the extremes of every corner of the stage and often they're they're playing in a way where they need to communicate with each other a lot and obviously that's really difficult because all they have is me to look at and they're trying to listen as as, as much as possible across the stage but they're doing a great job I'm happy to say that I'm not part of the improvisation so the piece is in three parts orchestra section then an improvised section with Shiva and Kit Downs on organ and then another another orchestra section so my only job is to stop at the right time and to start again at the right time so that's that's the moment I get to relax and enjoy the piece the most you directed a version of O called GABA Analog recently at, at Printworks in London. How, does, how did that version differ from this one? It, it was really different, actually. Um, it was a big, a big um, warehouse space with, with the orchestras at either ends of the warehouse. And there were two conductors, and we were working on click track. And the percussionist had click track as well, and there was amplification. So it was a really, really, really different experience this is um, I'm really enjoying this because it's much clearer for the audience you get the sense of space and how the sounds moving what's next um, day after the concert I travel back to London and start rehearsing for uh, the BBC prom that I'm doing with the London Contemporary Orchestra and hopefully I'll get to chill out with my wife and my cat a bit at some point <laughs>